Hi guys, welcome back to Motion Filmy. In today's video, we ranked every movie in the Conjuring universe. James Wan's 2013 horror film The Conjuring was a tribute to paranormal terror from the 1970s that took the box office by storm. Strong reviews and word of mouth carried the modestly budgeted Haunted House film to a worldwide gross of over $300 million. What do you need? Your soul! Launching an extended universe of horror movies imaginatively dubbed The Conjuring Universe. Central to the films are Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga as real-life paranormal investigators Ed Warren and Lorraine Warren. The majority of the films follow a case the Warrens actually investigated, with several spin-offs based on the devils and demons that haunt the world of The Conjuring. Let's get started. Number 8. The Curse of La Llorona. IMDb rating 5.2, set in Los Angeles in 1973, The Curse of La Lorene based on real Central and Latin American folklore about the weeping woman. One family's tragedy is passed to another when social worker Anna's, Linda Cardellini children become the target of a vengeful spirit. They seek the aid of whomever they can in their battle against La Llorona, including a priest and a shaman. The movie is tonally unique and features the most diverse cast of any film in the Conjuring franchise. Number 7. The Nun. IMDb rating 5.3, The Nun has some interesting visuals, despite the production design leaning towards more monochromatic hues throughout. At almost any point the film can be paused and the frame itself will tell a story, often one related to faith. The black, white and grey color scheme reinforces the dual nature of the forces at work in both The Nun and the franchise. Good vs. Evil and Faith vs. Fear are conflicts explored visually, thematically and narratively throughout. There's a missing link somewhere between The Nun and The Conjuring 2 that has yet to explain the demon Valak's appearance after the conclusion of this film, but in a film universe that spans 30 years, there's plenty of time to tell that story. Number 6. Annabelle, IMDb rating 5.4. The spin-off film that spawned its own trilogy, Annabelle is a prequel to The Conjuring that follows the titular demon doll. A young expectant couple, Mia, Annabelle Wallace, and John, Ward Horton, experience a terrifying home invasion attack after recently bringing a vintage porcelain doll into their house. The attackers are killed but later, after Mia and John's child is born, strange things start happening. They seek the help of a priest when they begin to suspect evil spirits of targeting their child. Number 5. Annabelle Comes Home. IMDb rating 5.9. Longtime franchise scribe Gary Doberman didn't disappoint with his chance to direct Annabelle Comes Home. It's the first of any spin-off to feature Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga prominently, but the central story is about a teen babysitter caught in the worst haunted house imaginable. The movie picks up shortly after the ending of The Conjuring, with Ed and Lorraine heading out on a new investigation and leaving their daughter Judy, McKenna Grace, in the care of their usual babysitter. Madison Eisman of course the babysitter invites some of her friends over, and of course they don't have the proper respect for the Warrens' wishes or property, and they accidentally unleash several entities on the house, including the villainous doll Annabelle. Number 4. The Conjuring The Devil Made Me Do It. IMDb Rating 6.3. The Devil Made Me Do It is the newest installment in The Conjuring films, and the third of the main series. It introduces a human villain as opposed to a disembodied entity that the Warrens must confront with practicality instead of spirituality. It also finds ways to weaponize Ed and Lorraine against each other for the first time in the series, but in the end, it fulfills the series' spanning motif of love conquering evil and moves quickly into establishing a courtroom drama angle that gets pushed aside in pursuit of a paper-thin mystery surrounding the main villain. Number 3. Annabelle Creation. IMDb rating 6.5. Annabelle Creation is an awesome, terrifying, relentless prequel to Annabelle and the Conjuring. It offers up scare after scare at a frightening pace throughout its hour and 49-minute runtime. It opens with the portrait of a happy family in the 1940s whose bliss is cut short by a tragic accident resulting in the death of their daughter. Twelve years later, the couple has remade their home into an orphanage for young girls. Things start going bump in the night after a child's curiosity unleashes a demon's fury on the unsuspecting house. The film pulls back the curtain further on the inciting incident that led to the inhuman inhabitation of the titular doll and is one of the more consistently entertaining films in the Conjuring universe. Number 2. The Conjuring 2 IMDb Rating 7.3 
From the opening frame, The Conjuring 2 sets out to blaze a new path forward for the visual styling of the franchise. The setup is similar to the first, with a large family under siege by paranormal forces who enlist the aid of paranormal experts to rid them of their demon drama. The film itself is shot in a more contemporary style, doing away with many of the static, slow zooms of its predecessor and making effective use of its cramped setting. The washed-out earth tones of The Conjuring are replaced by cooler-colored costumes and lighting. Blue hues fill most scenes in dreary old England, while the warmer 70s-inspired color palette of the first film dominates the scenes in the Warren stateside home. The movie introduces several new demonic characters including the nun and the crooked man, both of whom were intended to star in their own spin-off films. Number 1. The Conjuring, IMDb Rating 7.5 The Conjuring takes the cake because it is without a doubt one of the best modern horror movies, and it rightfully heralded as one of the scariest films of all time. When the Perron family moves out to the country and begins experiencing unexplainable terrors, targeted mostly towards the mother and children, they seek the help of paranormal experts Ed and Lorraine Warren. Renowned for their recent handling of a possessed doll, Ed and Lorraine head to the parents' home in Rhode Island where they find the terrified family of seven bedding down in the living room of a 14-bedroom farmhouse together. The pair must work to uncover the history of the old estate if they are to understand what and why this family is being maligned by paranormal forces. Which movie did you watch from the list today? Tell us in the comments section. Thank you for watching.